Hi guys, in the previous video we just finished setting up a default website which works with Apache and PHP FPM. So this is how it looks, just a single PHP website. And today I'd like to continue working on this subject and install WordPress, also working with Apache and PHP FPM. So let's open the terminal and uh, change directory to var www. Here uh, let's uh, change the owner. Uh, so type in sudo change own and then uh, let's change it to user and uh, type in the location of your website uh, so in my case this is just site so that we can save files into that directory uh, so let's go there and let's download wordpress uh, so i will type wget wordpress.org and then slash latest dot zip press enter and it will download in few seconds and let's get listing uh, here i'll just remove uh, my index.php file that i don't need anymore so i'll type in sudo rm index.php and now let's unzip archive uh, type in unzip latest dot zip i will clear screen and get listing uh, so this is what we have now, uh, just WordPress uh, directory and let's copy all the files recursively from WordPress into our current directory. And after that let's also remove uh, WordPress, we don't need it anymore. And also let's remove the archive. Here let's get listing and now we need to copy config template file which is wp config sample into the real config file and we need to edit that file and set up some parameters by using nano so type in nano wp config dot php and here we just need to set up some settings for the database so in particular you need to fix database name i will use site and also database username i will also use site next is password for the database i will use this simple password and the last parameter that i'd like to add here is this fs underscore method and a space uh, in quotes tab in direct uh, which means that WordPress will be able to save files directly into the file system so that you don't need to do it manually. Uh, the operations such as uh, updating your plugins or uh, generating HT access file. So WordPress can do it for you. Uh, so save the file, exit from here. And now let's go one level up. And uh, let's fix all uh, ownerships uh, of the files again so type in change own space uh, dash r recursively and also we want to set the group uh, so I will be using this www data so this is the group which I use both for Apache and PHP FPM so here we just basically need the group for the PHP FPM only. We don't need to worry about Apache much uh, because uh, Apache doesn't need to have right access to that directory. And uh, let's also fix the permissions so that uh, PHP FPM can save the files here. And also so that our user can also save the files. Uh, so. I will use this command to so do find and then the location space dash type f and then dash execute change mod so we will change uh, mod uh, to 660 for all files and then curly braces backslash semicolon press enter and let's do the same for directories uh, so here Type in type D, which means directory 
and change mod to 2770 let's get listing of our directory so i will show you how it looks so this is my username and it has written write access and this is the group name of php fpm uh, and it also has read and write access so i think uh, this is pretty much it here i'll clear screen and now let's set up uh, let's install the missing packages in my case i don't have database yet uh, so type in sudo apt get install mysql dash server space php mysql space php gd so this is just the graphics uh, package so that uh, WordPress can resize images and uh, then just confirm the installation and wait for the completion also during the installation you need to set up your database root password so uh, here it is just set your password for the database and then continue so the installation has been completed and uh, first of all after setting up mysql server it is recommended to run this command mysql secure installation but i will not run it just to save some time you can run it later by yourself there is nothing difficult there and now let's set up our database so let's log in into our mysql shell type in mysql u root p so we will log in as root and let's create the database type in create database and then the name of your database press enter and now let's create the user by typing grant all privileges privileges and then space on and then database name dot star and space and then we need to type in the username I am using the same name for the user and then add in quotes and type in the host name and also we need uh, this identified by and then type in the password oops oops I need to type everything again sorry grant all pre privileges on site dot star to site at localhost identified by and the password press enter identified by press enter so we just set up user and uh, database and i think now we can open wordpress we can reload the page here i'll click click reload and now wordpress should be working fine it should show us setup page so i'll click continue then i will enter some parameters such as site name username password then confirm weak password and then site my email address click install then it will take few seconds and here it says success now we are ready to log in so let's log in and now we should be redirected to admin page so this is the admin and if i try to open settings then permalinks here you can see that it is using some strange structure this is because uh, HT access files are not allowed in my setup so let's fix that and we need to open Apache config file and add one option so type in sudo none at c Apache sites available site and here I forgot that we need uh, this option directory for our site then close the tag and here we need to set this allow override all so that it allows uh, for htaccess files to override settings 
so that Apache can use settings from htaccess. Save the file and exit. Now we need to reload our Apache. So type in sudo service Apache to reload. And now if I try to refresh this and also I will try to set to different value to this day and name and try to save it. So it says Permalink saved successfully, there is no error here and it means that it created uh, htaccess file successfully, so let's check it. I will type in ls-la site.htaccess. So you can see that file was generated here and it means that permalinks are now working. So let's check it, go to the main page and if I hover over this title it says this URL, let's click and you can see it is not yet working. And this is because we need to add uh, one more module to Apache. So type in sudo a2n mod space rewrite press enter and let's reload Apache. Well, I mean let's restart Apache. And after that we can try to reload it again and you can see the URLs uh, working fine, permalinks working fine. I also would like to check uh, how uploads works in this setup with PHP FPM. So I'll save some file, some image into downloads and let's try to upload that particular image from the dashboard. So I will go to media, then I'll click add new. So here you can see no media files found. And now after I click on this image, I will select the image uh, from downloads and it should be uploaded here. So here it is, uh, the uploads working fine, uh, the URLs working fine. Uh, so I think everything set up uh, for WordPress. And uh, let's review uh, this uh, Apache config file. And as you can see, the only difference that we can, that we have in this file uh, the difference uh, from uh, default setup of Apache with mod PHP uh, versus uh, Apache with PHP FPM. So this is the only difference, uh, which is files match set handler to proxy FCGI, uh, which proxy in requests to PHP FPM. And everything else is just the same and WordPress working just fine everything is okay. Uh, so I think this is it for today and thank you for watching.